here at the 45th annual Sun and Fun Fly In and Expo. And as you can see, there are planes behind me. So let's go take a look around. All right, so I am here with Leo Brochet, and he is the vice chairman of the workshops here at Sun and Fun. Um, now, what type of workshops do you guys offer? Well, we cover just about everything that you need for uh, building your own airplane. We've got, a, we've got an engine shop, we've got fabric covering, we've got woodworking, we've got metal uh, riveting and whatnot, we've got metal shaping for doing cowlings and that type of thing, we've got a welding, uh, gas welding, we've got TIG welding, we've got electrical, uh, we cover pretty much the whole, whole gamut of what you need to know. And all of our class, well not all of them, but most of our classes are FAA approved to where uh, mechanics, AIs can come to our classes and actually get points for their continuing education requirements. So the, the classes that we teach are the real thing. You know, it's, and most of the people that are instructing have mechanics license. A and P license. So, so do you, you need a lot of experience then to take these workshop classes? Not to take, no, not to take the workshops. The, the workshops are set up for complete newbie. You know, you don't need to know anything when you come in. Just just have an interest in aviation and be interested in building. Do you need to bring your own equipment or is that provided? We have everything here for you. All you have to do is walk in, bring yourself. That's great. So, um. What's your uh, favorite class here? Well, since I teach in the electric, I've, I'd have to say electric. <laughs> but I really like them all. I've, I've filled in in most all of them, and uh, I like them all. Well, that's awesome. Thank you so much, Leo. <laughs> Looks like there's a lot to learn here at Sun and Fun. Alright, so we are here with some of the students from the Lakeland Aero Club and I am with, what is your name? Andrew. Andrew, hi. And what have you guys been working on? What is this? Um, so we are rebuilding the engine from this club and uh, we have people from Alabama that are professional mechanics that work with these engines and they are here to show us how we build them and so far we put the rods on and we put the bolts on, put the, we put the washer thing on there and they're teaching us how to put it together. That's awesome. So um, do you guys, what schools are you guys from? Are uh, we're all from CFA, Central Florida Aerospace Academy. Do you have to go to school there to be able to participate in this club? No ma'am. You don't have to go. We have people from Jacksonville. We have people who volunteer to come to the club. So do you all have an interest like are you wanting to pursue aviation and building airplanes for your future career? Yes, just being a mechanic. I just passed my Glam Aviation course, so. I'm so sorry, what is your name? Noah. Noah, mm -hmm. that is awesome. Um, how old are you guys? Are you all? Um, they're all around 16, and they're already putting together this thing, which I wouldn't even know how to start. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. <laughs> Susie Okush, and she is the vice chair here for the International Welcome Center. Um, so how long have you been doing this, Susie? Since 2008. What is your favorite thing about working here for the International Visitor Center? Meeting people from all over the world. Do you I meet people from Russia, China, Japan, Philippines were here, South Korea, all over. We have all kinds of cadets that are English. We have people from Australia. New Zealand. I love meeting all these people. They have great stories. So tell me a little a story about some people you've met or how you've helped them learn about Sun and Fun and everything. I just met a pair of twins today. They're both from the Netherlands. One lives in Scotland. She told me her sister was coming. Her sister came. I didn't know it was a different person. <laughs> wow. She's going to volunteer with us next year. 
And if you do want to volunteer, you don't have to speak a language. We will accommodate because we have all kinds of international visitors who speak English. That's awesome. And so can anybody just come by and say hi to you? Yes, definitely they can come by and say hi. I would love to say hi. I'll be here all week. <laughs>